Hi y'all, welcome back to Geek Homestead and welcome to block number one of the Farm Girl Quilt um, Adventure. Um, again, we are doing, um, I'm going to be doing each block in this Farm Girl Vintage book. A um, little tutorial on how to um, put it together and then um, we'll make some quilts out of the blocks that we get. So um, for today, the first block I'm going to do is called the um, Apron Strings block. And um, this is what it looks like when it's completed. Um, so it's a pretty easy block to do, and um, so I will show you how to put it together. Okay, um, once you pick out your block in the book that you're going to do, um, it's got written instructions as to exactly what sizes and how many different colors of fabrics and how, um, how big to cut them. So I have cut all the pieces um, for this, uh, for the apron strings block. Um, you've got four little ones. Uh, you've got four medium sized squares. And I've got four big squares. So um, we are going to put these together. So the first thing you do with this is you take two of your large squares, put them together um, wrong sides, I mean, I'm sorry, right sides together, and then you're going to draw a line from one corner to this corner, and then you're going to stitch a quarter inch off that line. So we will do that and be right back. Okay, so we have stitched the two lines corner to corner. Let's see if you can see those. Let's see that. Um, corner to corner, two lines, quarter inch off the direct center and if you can tell I did not actually draw the line um, I kind of, um, see, I mark it where um, you know, the corners would be on the corner and um, so I just, I eyeball it I always have, I'd, um, but it works out well so, <laughs> so some of you, you know, you may want to actually draw the line um, sometimes I actually do um, but most of the time I just eyeball it. So, anyway, so that is two of our squares right there. Okay. And, um, actually with the line you're going to, after you stitch them together, with the line you can cut them directly on that line that you marked from corner to corner. And then that will give you your two half triangle or half square blocks, which is what we need. So, you do that with um, both sets of the big, the extra large four, um, four squares that you've got. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other one, cut them apart, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we have stitched both sets of squares, and then cut them apart, and then when you open it, you've got half square triangles. So now we'll take this over to the iron and um, press the seam allowance out. Okay, so we press the seam allowance out. Now, next thing we're going to do is get one of our medium sized squares and we're going to match them up with the larger squares that we have, the half square triangles we just made. So I'm going to start with one of these, uh, navy blue and the yellow. And then the colors I have is a purple, a green, pink, and then a blue with um, red roses. So I think I'm going to use the blue and red roses. And with this one, I want to match it up with the lighter half of my square. Match it up to the solid corner. And then, again, with this, you can draw the line if you want to, or as I like to do, I eyeball it. And then I'm going to stitch a line directly on the corner to corner of the small square to where the block will then look like this. Okay, so we stitched that together and now we're going to cut um, about a quarter inch off that seam to cut off our excess. And then we take it to the iron and flatten it out. It'll look just like that. Okay, so now that we have the three pieces on here, Next, and the final step for this um, quarter of the block, we will take 
a contrasting fabric of our small uh, squares here and with this one I think I'm going to use the purple I got a purple one here so like the medium sized square we did we're again we're going to match up the small square with the solid corner of the large square and stitch from the corner to corner of your small piece and then you trim trim the excess okay okay so now we have all four pieces on our block and would you believe that only took like five minutes to sew um, so this is a fairly um, easy block to do um, the fabrics are adorable you know just go into your scraps and um, you know, so some of these need to be a little, little larger scraps but still so there's one fourth of that block and with this you will do the same for each of the four sets of half square triangles you have do that with that first one then these are the other three and with these you want to um, alternate the uh, where you put the smaller squares see I put the smaller square against the herringbone here so next the smaller square will go on the yellow so I will get these other blocks finished and then we'll put the four blocks together to make our single apron strings block okay so now that we've got all four of these ironed seams pressed over uh, we're gonna line them up and then we'll go over and stitch them together so remember what I said about the opposites so the first one we're gonna put right here and then this one here no no I'm sorry that's gonna go like right there you see there's the thin strip of this one and then the thick strip of the same one they're opposites okay and let's see we can put this one here and we'll put this one here yeah so the red and green are here and here and the blue and yellow are here so so now putting right sides together we're gonna stitch this seam here this seam here and then we'll match it up and stitch it straight down okay be right back okay so we are back and I have now stitched all four of these blocks together um, started with you know doing each one here and then straight across all f making all four of them into one block so this is the apron strings block from the farm girl vintage book and um, I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed doing this block yourself y'all have a great day